Hello YouTube, it's Rob from Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services. I hope everybody's well and having a great day. Today is Friday the 22nd of April um, and it's about quarter to four in the afternoon. I've got one garden left. I'm just outside a place called Jesmond in the northeast. I've got good do I've got to go and do a lawn, it's about 150 square meters and tickle the borders and just make it look a little bit more presentable. And that'll take me up till five o'clock and then I'll be home at five. Why am I here today? Well, it's exactly 12 months to the day that I released my first video on YouTube. And what a journey it's been. So I just wanted to say thank you to the 4,640 approximate subscribers who have joined the journey and uh, all the people who make regular comments and support the channel. It, I bl I'm blown away, I am, but thank you. And uh, here's to uh, another 12 months of positivity and uh, I try and make the uh, the content as enjoy enjoyable as possible. And so you can, you know, comment and, and we can have a little bit of a chat with it as well. But I'm gonna have a cup of tea with you now. And what I wanna talk about is um, easy days and hard days. Now today, Friday, it's my second Friday of my fortnightly round and it's what I would class as an easy day. And I didn't plan it like that, it just worked out. I've got seven gardens and they range from 100 square metre lawns with a little bit of border work to 200 square metres of lawn with no border work. And uh, most of them are in Lowfell where I live and then there's a couple in Jesmond. And by the end of the day, I feel like I've had a good day, I've enjoyed it because all the gardens have easy access, the people are all lovely, um, the gardens are all flat, um, they're in sort of very close proximity to one another and it just seems like um, it, it, it's an easy day, it's not, it's hard work but um, when I get home I, I don't feel as if I've, you know, some days I get home I've got nothing left, I don't feel like that today. Um, but Wednesday, I do a, an apartment block and it's a commercial contract and it's four hours of mowing lawns and tending to the borders and the, the back lawns like that. And then I've got uh, two or three gardens in the afternoon, depending on how I get on. But uh, when I get back on Wednesday, I've got nothing left. And financially, the money's exactly the same Um at the end of the day, what I earn on the Wednesday, what I earn on the Friday. So my question is, do you identify your hard days and try and make them easier? Do you, because at the moment I'm full. Anybody who follows the channel know I do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, my garden maintenance round, and Wednesday I, I work on an estate. So I'm not taking on any more work. I've even took my magnetic signs down off my van because uh, the phone was ringing too much and I, and now I just have a little message where I send it saying really sorry I'm too busy not taking any more work but thank you for, for contacting us and um, so I'll try and keep the calls down to to a minimum but should I still be taking calls and going out and trying to pick out these little gems of gardens um, and then letting other people go but my conscious won't let me do that I, I think if you do that you get bad karma because these people have been with me for quite a few years and I feel, not that I'm indebted to them, but you, you feel a little bit of loyalty, don't you? But some of them are the hard work and I have days where I get home, I've got nothing left. And I have other days where you breeze round seven gardens, they're all sort of 45 minutes, 50 minutes, you get a 10 minute break after each garden, a cup of tea, drive to your next one, away you go, the waste is all in the bin, everything just goes swimmingly. And then some days you just, you seem to be, you know, everything seems to be double the effort and double the amount of hard work you've got to put in to achieve your outcome. You know, your couple hundred quid, what you want from the end of the day. What do you do? Do you get rid of your hard gardens and replace them with easy ones? Or do you just bite the bullet and say, that's the way life is and we have to crack on? I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just crack on. But um, yeah, thanks very much. I can't believe I have 4,600 subscribers. I can't believe the amount of interaction I have with such lots of wonderful people. And 99% of it is positive. I usually get two dislikes every video and I've got my suspicions who they are. But I think that's really sad that they, they feel the need to do that. But Teo, that's life.
And I've been getting loads of messages recently about people wanting to starting, uh, start a YouTube channel. So, I thought I'm going to do a video on um, my advice on anybody who wants to start out and do a YouTube channel. And uh, I'll do that next week or the week after. But the first thing is, don't think you're going to make money. If you want to make money, don't do a YouTube channel. Add one loan on your Friday round for 20 quid. And that'll be about 80 quid a month. That'll be more money than you'll ever make from YouTube. Uh, YouTube's not about making money. It's about other things, which I'll go into at a later date. But I think it might be quite interesting. Because it's not as easy as people think. And uh, there's a lot of work goes into it. But. There's a lot comes back as well. It's very, very enjoyable, but it's not money. That's certainly not what it's all about anyway. So I'm going to go and do my last garden and I'm going to finish my cup of tea. Um, and as it's Friday, it's a lovely night. I might have a glass of wine in the in the garden with the missus and uh, see how we get on and see what we're going to do for the weekend. But I'm not working this weekend. Got the weekend off and the weather looks nice. So uh, yeah, let's hope to we'll go and visit some nice places. Well, everybody, take care. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks very much for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for following me on my journey. But remember, my journey, my channel, is not about me telling you how to be, how to be the best gardener. Because I've never claimed that and I never would. My channel is about you following me on my journey from starting out with a 20-inch Honda Izzy, 20, 20, sorry, a 16-inch, 20-year-old Honda Push Izzy, which fell to bits, to where I am now and where I'm going in the future. Uh, that's me. And just a little bit of crack and a little bit of storytelling and interaction. Nothing fancy, I just keep it simple. So, remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. Take care. I'll see you soon. Have a nice weekend.